siku ya leo ningependa kuongea juu ya the mystery of the blood the mystery of the blood we have been talking about the mysteries of the kingdom Matthew 13 and verse 11 that it has been given unto us to understand these secrets or these mysteries praise the name of the living God of the kingdom of God bwana pawe sifa na kwa hivyo tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ninaamini ya kwamba as we continue to discuss about these mysteries of the kingdom Mungu anazidi kutufundisha na kutuelimisha na kutuhekimisha jinsi ambavyo tunaweza kutumia hizi siri za ufalme na ili zikaweze kutunufaisha na kutufanya hata bora zaidi na kwa hivyo siku ya leo ningetaka kuongea juu ya the mystery of the blood Matthew 13:11 inasema he replied the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven has been given to you but not to them New King James version He answered and said to them because it has been given you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but to them it has not been given Bwana pewe sifa So siku ya leo ningependa kuongea juu ya the mystery of the blood Tuelewe what is this secret that is in the blood? Na sitaongea tu juu ya damu ya Yesu. Ninataka tu angalie damu kwa ujumla. Kwa sababu ukiangalia katika dini zote ambazo zinaabudu tu sio katika Ukristo zinatumia damu kwa njia moja ama ile nyingine. Kwa nini wanatumia damu? Hata watu wale tunafikiria sio very religious kama Chinese. Kwa nini wanachinja hata kama ni mbwa ama mbuzi ama guruwe wakati wanataka kuanza kujenga barabara? Wanapaka pengine matinga tinga tinga yao hiyo damu. Tumeona hizo video. Kwa nini damu inatumika hata kwa wale ambao tunajua wako katika ufalme wa giza? wanatoa makafara ya damu kwa nini hata ukienda kwa mganga na kuitisha kuku anaitisha mbuzi ha? na baadaye anaweka ile damu damu ndio akona haja naye sio nyama za kuku sio nyama za mbuzi ni damu akona haja naye anaitumia kufanya makafara jambo la kwanza ambalo ningependa tuelewe ni ya kwamba kuna sheria katika ulimwengu wa roho and these laws that are in the spirit realm are established by God himself. Kuna shelia ambazo zinaopalate in the spirit realm. And these laws in the spirit realm, they are not established by the devil. They are established by God. Na kire shetani ambacho anafanya ni counterfeit kwa sababu ye alikuwa juu binguni na anajua sili na anajua sheria hizi za kiroho na anajua vile zinafanya kazi pengine hata anajua hizi sheria kuliko wengi wetu bibi nasema ya kwamba mapepo yanaamini neno paka yanatetemeka kwa sababu yanajua ukweli wa sheria za ulimwengu wa rohoni na niposa utaona ya kwamba even many religions they still ride on the rules that are established by God in one way or the other. Even if they are going to use those laws in their own rituals. But they are spiritual laws that are established by God in the spirit realm. Na kwa kwa nini damu inatumika wakati wa maagano, wakati wa makafara, Na ninafundisha hivi ndiyo wengine tuwache kuchukua kwa mzaha. Hata wakati kama utu kwa na hii festive season size ya Easter. Unaposikia timutapewa mbuzi na itachinjwa kwa njia furani. Damu yake itamua kwa njia furani. Wacha kucheza na mambo ya damu. Kwa sababu kuna siri kubwa ambayo imefichwa katika damu. Na shetani anajua. Na kwa sababu shetani anajua, anatumia damu kufunga watu. 
anatumia damu kuharibu maisha ya watu vile vile Yesu alivyokuja kutoa damu yake ili aweze kutukomboa na kutuweka huru shetani pia anatumia damu kuiba kuua na kuharibu kwa sababu hayo ndiyo maono yake and so as a believer you need to understand the mystery in the blood ni siri hii gani ambayo iko ndani ya damu dina la bwana lipewe sifa bona makafara yanapotolewa kunahitajika damu dina la bwana lipewe sifa je hii guvu iko katika damu ni kwa sababu ni nyekundu ni rangi yake ama kwa sababu ni vile ni maji maji ni, ni siri gani ambayo iko katika damu Nataka niseme siri moja ambayo iko katika damu imeandikwa in the book of Leviticus chapter 17 and verse 11 and there is a biggest uh, mystery about the blood huh? the bible says for the life of a creature is in the blood and i have given you given it to you to make atonement for yourselves uh, on the altar It is a blood that makes atonement for one's life. Look at this uh, that the life of a creature is in what? Is in the blood. When the Bible talks about a creature, it means all, the whole creation. Ah, uh, kila kiumbe ambacho kiko na damu uhai wa kile kiumbe uko katika damu. Siku ya leo ukiwekwa tu sindano hata usigongwe mahali uwekwe tu sindano na idrain tu damu vile damu itakavyoanza kutoka katika mwili wako hivyo ndivyo utakavyoanza kuwa mdhaifu na damu ikitolewa yote katika mwili wako the fresh itakufa kwa sababu uhai wako uko katika damu na hiyo ndiyo Leviticus 17 na hivyo nasema the life huyu ni Mungu muumba wa vitu vyote ambaye anajua the secret of life na anasema ya kwamba uhai wa kila kiumbe sio kwa sababu ni nyekundu ama ni nyeusi uhai wa kila kiumbe umewekwa katika damu so ukishika kiumbe chochote ha? Ata kuku unapoikata huwa haifi kwa sababu imekatwa kichwa inakufa kwa sababu umeidrain damu yote Ata ukitoa tu sehemu kidogo u drain tu damu yote any creature ukidrain the blood the creature is dead because the life is in the blood praise the name of the living god so the greatest part of any creature is not the fresh it is the blood that is why sacrifices are offered through the blood that is why the bible says in that leviticus chapter 17 can we read it in new living translation 17 and verse 11 um, uh, the bible says uh, for the life of the body is in its blood so the life is not in the body the life is in the blood And God said, I have given you the blood on the altar to purify you, making you right with the Lord. It is a blood given in exchange for a life that makes purification possible. Praise the name of the living God. So it is blood that is given in exchange for a life uh, that makes uh, purification possible that is why shetani anaelewa hizi sheria za kiroho na anajua jinsi ya kutumia damu diposa access maisha ya watu jina bwana ipewe sifa kwa sababu ameshika uhai wa kiumbe kingine viumbe vyote bibi anasema ya kwamba uhai ama mili yao haifanani that is why hata ukienda kwa mganga anaweza kukuambia hii shida leta kuku unaenda anakuambia hii shida leta mbuzi 
anakuambia hii shida leta ngombe ha? kwa sababu anaangalia uzito wa lile jambo na anaona ni uhai wa kiumbe gani kitakachoweza kutolewa jina la bwana lipewe sifa Ezekiel chapter 18 and verse, 30, uh, verse 20 Bibi inasema ya kwamba the soul that sinned uh, will die Ezekiel if we can read in the book of Ezekiel chapter a, uh, uh, 18 and verse 20 the Bible says the soul who sins is the one who will die the son will not share the guilt of the father nor the father share the guilt of the son the righteousness of the righteous man will be credited to him. The wickedness of the wicked will be charged against him. But if a wicked man turns away from all the sins he has committed and keeps all my decrees uh, and does, does what is just uh, and lighter, uh, he will surely live, uh, he will not die. None of the offenses he has committed will be remembered against him because the righteous things he has done will live. Do I take any pleasure in the death of the wicked, declares the sovereign Lord? Rather, I am not pleased when they turn from their ways and live. Verse 24, the last one that we are going to read. But if a righteous man turns from his righteousness and commits sin and does not, does the same detestable things uh, the wicked man does, uh, Will he live? None of the righteous things he has done will be remembered because of the unfaithfulness he is guilty of, of uh, and because of the sins uh, he has committed, um, he will die. Hapa tunaona ya kwamba, mungu anasema the soul, na shetani anajua, ya kwamba the soul that sinneth shall die. The penalty of sin is death. Haijalishi wewe ni mtoto, haijalishi wewe ni mkijana, haijalishi wewe ni mzee, but the penalty of sin is death. Na kwa shetani kwa sababu anajua hizi sheria, akajua ya kwamba mwanadamu atakapo fanya dhambi, hana jia nyingine, ila razima atakufa, Kwa sababu shetani anajua hizi shelia za kiloho ambazo mungu ameweka. And that is why even God uh, when he came to the garden of Eden uh, when Adam and Eve sinned uh, the first thing he did is to slaughter an animal is to shed blood. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Ili awavarishe ili ngozi. You know mavazi yanasimamia righteousness. So kile ambacho Mungu alikuwa anawatafutia sio tu kufunika uchi wao. Alikuwa anawatafutia kuwa na right standing. Praise the name of the living God because already walikuwa wamefanya dhambi. Na hapo ndiyo tunaona Leviticus, Mungu anasema kwa sababu uhai wa kila kiumbe uko katika damu nimewapatia hawa wanyama muwe mnatoa in exchange for your life. It is like God uh, initiated a process. I want to bring salvation. But even before I do that, the way for you to live is to use animals in exchange of your life. When you offer the blood of an animal, uh, God said, uh, I allow you to do so in exchange uh, of, your own of your own life as a way of purification, uh, of a way of seeking righteousness uh, uh, or right standing uh, with God. Na tunaona in the Old Testament, uh, the poster unaona ya kwamba the sacrifices of animals, kuanzia jiwa, kuningana na uwezo wa mtu, uh, kondo, ngombe, uh, zinatolewa. Na zilikuwa zinatolewa kwa sababu mungu alikuwa nasema ya kwamba hii damu inayobeba uhai wa mnyama unapo itoa inasimami, inasimamia uhai wako ili wewe mwenyewe usije ukaangamia. Jina labwana wipewe sifa. Lakini tunaona in the book of Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 13. If we can read Hebrews chapter 9 and from verse 13. 
Uh, the Bible says, uh, the blood of goats and bulls and the ashes of a heifer sprinkled on those who are ceremonially unclean, sanctify them so that they are outwardly clean. How much more then will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself and blemished to God, cleanse our consciences uh, from acts that lead to death uh, so that we may be able to serve uh, the living God. For this reason, Christ is the mediator of a new covenant that those who are called may receive the promise, uh, the promised internal inheritance. Now that he has died as a ransom to set them free from the sins uh, committed uh, under the first covenant. In the case of a will, it is necessary. Let's, let's, let's jump to Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 4. Just take a few verses there. Jump to 10, 4. Because it is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. You see, the reason Jesus came, it is because it is impossible for the blood of bulls and goes to take away sin. They only did the outward cleaning. Let's continue verse 5. Therefore, when Christ came uh, into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. With burnt offerings and sins offering, you are not pleased. Then I said, Here I am. It is written about me in the scroll. I have come to do your will, O God. First, he said, sacrifices and, offer, and burnt offerings and sin offerings you did not desire, nor were you pleased with them, although the law required them to be made. Then he said, here I am, I have come to do your will. He set aside the first to establish the second. And by that will, uh, we have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Day after day, every priest stands and performs his religious duties. Again and again he offers the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. But when this priest had offered for all time one sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God. Since that time, he waits for his enemies to be made his footstool. Because uh, by one sacrifice, he has made perfect forever those uh, who are being made holy. Praise the name of the living God. This is the difference between the blood of Jesus uh, and the blood of bulls uh, and goats. Uh. They were only able to do the outside uh, cleaning. Uh, but the blood of Jesus was able to do the cleaning from the inside. Because... Uh, Jesus offered uh, his uh, sinless blood. The Bible says, a body you prepared uh, for me. We know that even when we are doing uh, the DNA of uh, a, a, a child uh, and we want to test uh, who is the father, we test uh, the blood of the, ch the, 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 the child. Uh, the blood of the child uh, so that we can be able to know who the father is. So, for the case of Jesus, because Joseph was not the father, praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Who was his father? That means Jesus uh, carried uh, the life of God in him. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Yesu, kwa sababu hakuwa na damu ya Yusufu, alikuwa na uhai wa mungu peke yake, wa mungu dani yake. That is why the Bible says, in him there was life. And this life uh, was the writer of the whole world. Praise the name of the living God. Kwa sababu uhai uko katika damu. Na sasa damu ambayo yesu alikuwa mebeba kama ungefanya DNA haikuwa ya Joseph. Huh? Because Mary was overshadowed uh, by the Holy Ghost uh, when she conceived uh, and she was a virgin. That is why Jesus is saying, uh, a body you prepared uh, for me. So Jesus uh, carried uh, the life uh, of God.
God uh, through his blood. Praise the name of the living God. Yesu alibeba uhai wa Mungu kupitia damu yake. Na diposa sisi sasa tunaweza kupokea ule uhai wa Mungu. The verse is in the book of John chapter 1 and verse 4. We have read this verse. John chapter 1 and verse 4. The Bible says uh, John chapter 1 in him was life, and that life was the light of men. This life that Jesus carried was the life of God himself through his blood. And when he offered his blood, then the life that Adam lost in the garden of Eden, because the Bible says uh, when they sinned, or God said when you eat the fruit, uh, then you are going to die. They lost the life of God. So when Jesus came through the blood that he shed on the cross, he restored the life of God back to us through his sinless blood. Zile makafara zingine zote ambazo ziliweza kutolewa. Hazingeweza kusafisha dhambi maramoja na maramoja ya kutosha. Lakini bibi nasema yeye alipo kuja na damu yake akatoa uh, ile damu basi amekaa katika mkono wa kulia baba kwa sababu hiyo mara moja inatosha kuwafanya watakatifu na wenye haki wale wote wanaokuja kwake kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha ya kwamba kama we unajua ufunuo wa damu ya Yesu haufai kutishwa na makafara mengine yeyote yanayotolewa because uh, Kama wengine watatumia makafara ya kuku, ama ya mbuzi, ama ya ngombe. Basi wewe ukona damu ambayo imeshida hizo damu zingine ambazo zinaweza kutolewa. Ukona agano jipia kupitia damu ya Yesu Kristo mwana wa mungu. Na vivo siku ya leo ikiwa Easter Friday. Ni siku ya furaha kujua ya kwamba Yesu walikuja akaenda msarabani, akafa akamwaga damu yake Yesu tu hakufa kumbuka yule askari ambaye alimdunga na mkuki umbavuni mwake akatoa maji na akatoa damu praise the name of the living god lazima angeimwaga ile damu mahali pale bibi inasema in the book of um, uh, in the book of john if we can read the book of john chapter 19 uh, and verse 34 john 19 uh, and verse 34 john 19 instead uh, one of the soldiers pierced Jesus side with a spear, bringing a sudden flow of blood and water. The man who saw it has given testimony, and his testimony is true. He knows that he tells the truth, and he testifies so that you also may believe. These things happened so that the scripture will be fulfilled. Not one of his bones were broken. And as another scripture says, they will look on the one they have speared. Tunajua wale wezi wengine wawiri, walivunjwa migu, walivunjwa mifupa, lakini diyo unabiwa yesu kaweze kutimia, na kaweze kuwa tofauti, hawa kuvunja migu yake, kwa sababu baada ya kudungwa, Ha, ye akawa tiali, amekufa Na kwa hivu wakukua na haja Ya kufunja vunja mwili wake It was not a coincidence It was by divine plan So that the prophecy will be fulfilled That none of his bones Will be broken And they are going to look at whom They pierce Praise the name of the living God There is power in the blood of Jesus Christ Kama dini zingine zote Zinatumia makafara Wengine wanatumia kafara za damu za wanadamu. Zamani ukiangalia, hata siku ya leo, there are cultures ambazo zinatoa watoto. Wengine wanatoa wasichana ambao ni bikira. Yani kujaribu kuinua kiwango cha thabihu yao. Wanapo toa msichana ambaye ni bikira. Wanaona kiwango cha thabihu yao kimeenda juu. Wakitoa pengine mtoto ambaye amezaliwa pia. 
ha? wanaona kichwa ni kiwango kingine cha kutoa makafara yao lakini Yesu hakuwa na hatia damu yake ilikuwa ni damu ya Mungu mwenyewe ambaye ndiye aliyekuwa baba yake na kwa hivyo hiyo damu iko na nguvu na iko na uwezo wa kuharibu maagano mengine yote ambayo yako juu ya maisha yangu haijalishi kama ni kuku ilichinjwa ikapelekewa mganga haijalishi kama ni kondoo ilichinjwa na mambo ya mira na itikadi yakatangazwa katika hali ya ukikuyu mambo yale yote yaliyofanyika katika jamii yetu haina uwezo juu ya maisha yangu kwa sababu wewezi kulinganisha damu ya kondoo na damu ya Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu tunaona from the book of exodus 12 uh, and verse 13 Mungu alikuwa anaandaa Yesu vile atakavyokuja afe na kupitia damu yake tukaweze kupata ulinzi the bible says the blood will be a sign for you on the houses where you are and when i see the blood i will pass over you no destructive plague will touch you when i strike egypt mungu anawaambia wana wa israeli kupitia Musa ukiangalia hapo kuanzia Exodus 12 ya kwamba wachukue mwana kondoo na wakaweze kumchinja na wakimchinja wachukue damu yake nyama wanaweza kula lakini kwa sababu uhai uko katika damu praise the name of the living god wachukue ile damu wakaweze kuipaka katika miimo ya milango yao remember in the book of Leviticus umesoma ya kwamba i give you the life Uh, or the blood of the animal in exchange of your own life ya kwamba wakati uharibifu unapokuja na umechinja huyu mwana kondoo na damu yake umeipaka katika mimo ya milango yako ni kumaanisha you have given an exchange maisha yako na yule mwana kondoo jina la bwana ipewe sifa sasa bibi inasema ya kwamba si itawezekanaje hata zaidi kupitia damu ya Yesu Kristo kupata kuokolewa jina la Bwana ipewe sifa kama damu ya ngombe na ya mbuzi walipomchinja mwana kondoo kule Misri kama angezuilia malaika wa kuharibu akaingia katika nyumba zilizokuwa na damu katika mimo ya milango itakuwaje hata zaidi wakati hii damu ya Yesu Kristo praise the name of the living god iko juu ya maisha yetu may god deliver you from every destruction uh, in the mighty name of jesus uh, can you declare the mark of the blood upon my life uh, will deliver me from every arrow of the enemy in the mighty name of jesus uh, hata wakienda kufanya makafara yao wakiangalia maji kama kio wataona damu ndio inayowajibu kwa sababu hawana uwezo wa kunifanyia mabaya kwa sababu kunayo damu inayonena juu yangu wapendwa bibi nasema ya kwamba wakati abel alikufa na amekufa na pengine yamezikwa mungu akasema bado kuna sauti ninasikia ikiongea na hii sauti inaongea kutoka kwa damu ya Abel That is the power of the blood Nani alikuwa anaongea ha? ni Abel akiwa na mwili ama ni Abel na damu yake Mungu alisema yule ninayemsikia kiongea ni damu ya Abel Kwa hivyo Abel is more of this blood than of his flesh Because the life of every creature is not in the flesh. The life of every creature is in the blood. Na kwa hivyo mahali popote unasikia mtu anaenda ati unakatakatwa damu yako kidogo inatolewa inachanganywa na vitu vingine uhai wako umechukuliwa. Ha? That is where we suffer demonic exchange. Unakuta mtu sasa ile maisha anaishi sio maisha yake kwa sababu wakati damu yako inachukuliwa they can manipulate your destiny wanaweza kutumia hiyo damu tu kidogo as a point of contact kutumia a uh, uh, kumanipulate your destiny so usicheze na mahali mtu ati anaenda kuchanjwa a uh, ama mnaenda pengine mnataka kufanya covenant kama vijana vijana pengine msichana anakata damu yake na we damu yako mnaanza kushikanisha hiyo damu mpendwa chochote kinachohusu damu 
usifanye mzaha nacho kwa sababu hata Mungu amesema uhai wa kila kiumbe ambacho nimeumba uko katika damu jina bwana ipewe sifa so mahali popote unaona makafara yakifanywa hata kama ni damu ya mbuzi na watu wanafanya yale makafara wachana na mchezo kwa sababu shetani anajua sheria za kiroho na anajua kutumia damu akafunga watu so watu wanapotoa damu na wanaimwaga chini wakiongea maneno ha? na wanaongea maneno juu ya ile jamii ama juu ya mtu ni kumaanisha ya kwamba there is an exchange that is going on because Mungu alisema ya kwamba I have given the life of the animal to exchange can you give us back uh, Leviticus 17:11 in new living uh, transition ha? This is where demonic exchange uh, take place uh, for the life of the blood uh, of the body is in in its blood I have given you the life I have given you the blood on the altar to purify you making you right with the Lord it is a blood given in exchange for a life that makes purification possible you know kwa sababu mambo ya shetani ni 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 counterfeit yeye anajua kwamba The blood has given in exchange for a life for purification. Sasa shetani anakuja anasema mimi sitaitumia for purification. I'm going to use it uh, to exchange to trade uh, the destinies of men. Nitawabadilishia maisha yao. Hawataishi maisha ambayo Mungu alikusudia. Mimi sitatumia ile damu kuwatakasa, nitatumia ile damu kuwaibia hati mazao. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Haleluya. Na we unaona mahali kuna fanywa yale makafara ya damu na unaangalia tu unacheka because you don't understand the mystery of the blood. Praise the name of the living God. Wapendwa haufai kucheza na damu. Mimi huwa naangalia ukiona ati watu wameambiwa wachinje buzi ama mbwa wapange kwa ma, wapake kwa hiyo matingatinga ya Chinese na vitu kama hizo ama ni barabara inamwagwa na unakuta watu wetu wanafanya hizo sarakasi na hawaelewi nguvu ya kile ambacho wanacho kifanya hawa watu wanapofanya hivyo wanachukua uhai wetu wanachukua uchumi wetu sisi siku ya leo ni watumwa wa madeni ha kwa sababu wanajua sheria za kiroho za kubadilisha uhai wa watu na sio wao wanachinja wanamwambia shikeni mchinje pakeni hiyo matingatinga yenu yetu kwa sababu tumekuja kuchukua uchumi wenu tumekuja kuchukua ulithi wenu nyinyi mtakuwa watumwa katika nchi yenu na watu wanafanya wakifikiria ni mzaha Hawajui shetani anaelewa sheria ya kiroho ya kwamba damu ya mnyama imepatianwa. Na kwa sababu anaweza tumia hata mbwa it is an insult to us. Although also it's, it's food to them because wengine hata mbwa ni chakula hawana shida. Na kwa sababu shetani anajua hizi sheria za kiroho anafundisha watu wale walio katika ufalme wake. Hivi ndivyo mnaweza kubadilishia watu hatima zao kwa sababu Mungu alisema amepatiana damu ya mnyama abadilishe na maisha yao ya kwamba wanapotoa damu ya mnyama Mungu anasema ameondoa ghadhabu juu yao mnyama amechukua nafasi yao na sisi tutatumia the same spiritual role ili tuwabadilishie na tuwaibie hatima zao praise the name of the living god wapendwa usicheze na mahali popote unapoitishwa kiumbe ambacho kiko hai kichinjwe kwa njia fulani na maneno fulani yanaanza kutangazwa hapo ndiyo hatima za watu huwa zinapotea because many people they don't understand uh, the mystery of the blood the bible says as we finish in the book of corossians uh, chapter 1 and verse 20 if we can read corossians uh, chapter 1 and verse 20 the bible says uh, and through him to reconcile to himself all things whether things on earth or things in heaven by making peace through his blood shed on the cross you see jesus is saying i'm going to use my blood to reconcile to me all things whether things on earth 
or things in heaven by making peace through his blood. Kwa hivyo damu iko na nguvu if it can reconcile the things on earth uh, and the things in heaven uh, whether things on earth or things in heaven if the blood can reconcile then the same blood uh, can be manipulated uh, to bring a separation uh, damu inaweza kutumiwa vitu vya hapa duniani vikikuona vinakimbia havina amani na wewe kwa sababu damu ilitumiwa kukuseparate na mali ya dunia na vitu vya dunia hii and that is why wengine unasikia kwamba wanaambiwa leta mtoto ndio kuwe milionea kwa sababu wanataka kutumia damu ndio wakushikanishe na utajiri kwa sababu shetani anajua hizi sheria za kiroho ya kwamba you can reconcile things even here on earth even in heaven sio tu wanadamu the creation ha huh? in a foro the patterns ambazo Mungu ameweka the creation inakuwa aligned na the heavenly patterns ya kwamba things can be reconciled through the power of the blood that is why ukitaka utajiri unaambiwa toa hii makafara wengine wanatoa hata watu wao ili waweze kuwa reconciled na utajiri utajiri unaanza kuja kwako lakini sio utajiri ambao unaoupata kwa njia ya kiungu ni utajiri ambao unaoupata kwa njia ya kimapepo huo utajiri hautakuwa harali hata ukienda kusaidia maskini hata ukileta kanisani huo utajiri hautakuwa harali na dakika ya mwisho utaenda kuzimu na kwa sababu kazi ya shetani ni kuiba na kuua na kuharibu baadaye ataleta uharibifu atakuibia ha? na baadaye atakuua that is why Yesu aliambiwa si badala ya kwenda kufa msarabani uninamie ni kupatia hizi miliki na farme Yesu akasema hapana I am going to reconcile all things through my blood kama ni utajiri utapatikana kupitia damu katika damu unaweza pata utajiri wako mpendwa ambao Mungu alikusudia kwa sababu damu inaweza kukuconcile na baraka zako ambazo Mungu alikusudia that is a mystery of the blood ya kwamba badala ya dunia ikutapike na ikukatae ya kwamba hauwezi kufanikiwa hapa duniani damu hii ina reconcile damu ya Yesu haikuja tu itulikonsile na Mungu katika ushirika ilikuja itulikonsile na vitu ambavyo Mungu ameweka hapa duniani praise the name of the living god haleluya kwa sababu wakati Adam alifanya dhambi aliambiwa dunia haitaachilia mazao yake haitaachilia utajiri wake utafanya kazi na nguvu lakini hautaweza kufaidika lakini wakati Yesu anakuja sasa bibi nasema ya kwamba damu yake ina reconcile ya kwamba ile laana ambayo iliachiliwa wakati wa Adam hiyo laana inavunjika diposa hakufa kifo cha kawaida aliwekwa katika mti ili afanyike laana ili atuvunjie laana ambayo tuliyoipata kupitia Adam wa kwanza praise the name of the living god may god reconcile you with the things that are here on earth in the mighty name of jesus so that every blessing that has your name on it it is going to locate you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh my God, I reconcile myself through the blood of Jesus with the things here that are here on earth. They are not going to destroy me in the mighty name of Jesus. They are not going to affect me negatively. I am not going to suffer in the mighty name of Jesus because the blood of reconciliation is upon my life and this blood is not only reconciling me but to God uh, but it is reconciling me back to the things uh, here on heaven uh, in Abaganda, here on earth uh, and in heaven uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, that is why Jesus said uh, I have come uh, that they may have life uh, and have it uh, more abundantly because the blood of Jesus uh, is able to reconcile you with the things uh, that are here on earth uh, that you may have life uh, and have it uh, more abundantly 
name in the mighty name of Jesus. I nullify every other sacrifice of the blood that is speaking that has been offered on my behalf and I render such sacrifice powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. Kira dhabihu ambao iritolewa ili inisepalate na baraka zangu. Ili nisiwe na amani hapa duniani. Ili nisipate ulithi wangu. Hata ukisoma. Hata ukifanya kazi na bidi. Hata ukitumia njia zile ambazo watu wengine ufuata. Unakute ya kwamba your efforts hazina faida yoyote. Siku ya leo ungejua the mystery of the blood ungejua kwamba kuna siri katika hii damu ungetangaza hii damu juu ya maisha yako na utangaze nguvu za hiyo damu zinaleta reconciliation reconciliation katikati yako sio tu na Mungu lakini hata na vitu vilivyoko hapa duniani na unatangaza kwa sababu ya hii damu nitakuwa na amani hapa duniani na nitakuwa na maisha na maisha teretere katika jina la Yesu Kristo dunia Haita tapika biashara yangu, haita tapika huduma yangu. Chochote nitakachofanya hapa duniani kitakuwa na kibali katika jina la Yesu Kristo, kitakuwa na kufanikiwa kwa sababu hiyo damu imeleta reconciliation. Sitafanya kazi ya jasho ambayo haina matunda. Hapana, hiyo rana imevunjika katika jina la Yesu Kristo na nimekuwa reconciled back. The Bible says the other as we praise the lord we release our richness basi dunia lazima itaachilia utajiri wake katika jina la Yesu Kristo reka maganda na nitakula mema ya inchi kwa sababu ninamtii bwana na nimekubali siri ya hii damu do you understand the mystery of the blood don't allow the devil to take and exchange your destiny by the power of the blood to denarify every other sacrifice that has ever been offered in your life, in your family, on your behalf, any blood that has ever been shed in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare the speakings of the blood of Jesus for the Bible says this blood speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. This blood is speaking healing. This blood is speaking prosperity. This blood is speaking a good life for you and your children children in the mighty name of Jesus and today as we remember this Sunday rek uh, this Friday reka maganda shata baganda mazeria reka maganda it was a sad day for our lord Jesus Christ reka maganda but it was a good day for us uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, it was a good day for us, uh, but it was a sad day for our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, he came to take our sorrows. Uh, he came to take our sadness. Uh, he came to take our poverty. He came to take our sickness uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, don't allow the devil to torment you. Declare the mystery of the blood uh, over your life, uh, over the works of your hands. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, declare the mystery of the blood. Declare the mystery of the blood. Reka maganda. Kama huwa anatumia damu. Hili wapate utajiri katika ufanme wagiza. Na jesi tunapaswa kujua siri ya damu ya Yesu Kristo. Ambayo imekuja itupatanishe. Hata na vitu virivyo kwa hapa duniani. Reka maganda mashanda. Reka maganda. Mambo ya shetani ni counterfeiter. Anajua sheria za kiroho. Sisi tunafatu zierewe zaidi. Na tujue jinsi ya kutumia hii damu reka maganda hiliyo tolewa mara moja na mara moja ya kutosha reka maganda mazaya ambayo iko na uwezo wa kuokoa kabisa wale wote wanaokuja kwake Mungu kupitia Yesu Kristo reka maganda reka maganda mashanda ba reka maganda masheria reka maganda kama walipaka damu katika mirango yao na malaika wa kuharibu hakuwaguza na je kwa nini wewe uguzwe na uharibifu reka maganda that is why god has delivered us from corona reka maganda mashanda reka maganda mazaya reka maganda he will deliver you from every other evil 
He will deliver you from every other arrow. In the mighty name of Jesus. Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 5 and from verse 9. Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda. The Bible says since we have been now been justified by his blood. How much more shall we be saved from God's love through him? Reka Maganda Bashanda. Reka Maganda. Reka Maganda Mashanda. For if uh, when we were God enemies, uh, we were reconciled to him uh, through the death of his son, uh, how much more, having been reconciled, uh, shall we be saved uh, through his life? Uh, his salvation uh, in a manisha sozo, in a manisha, everything that you need uh, for your well being, uh, declare through the blood. Uh, I have everything uh, that I need uh, for my well-being. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, Reka Maganda, the blood uh, is not only reconciling you back to God, uh, the blood uh, is reconciling you to the things here on earth uh, and the things in heaven. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, may you walk in this liberation. Uh, Reka Maganda, so that you can have an encounter. You can receive the ministration of angels. Uh, the blood has reconciled you. Reka Maganda Mashanda. That is uh, why the Bible says, uh, angels are ministers uh, to them that inherit salvation. The blood has reconciled you back uh, to the things in heaven. Uh, Reka Maganda Mashanda. Angels can come now at your service. Uh, Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda. They can come uh, at your deliverance. Uh, Reka Maganda. And fight your battles. Uh, Reka Maganda Mashanda. 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 Reka Maganda. May the mystery of the blood work for you today. This Good Friday. Declare the mystery of the blood. Declare the mystery of the blood. Is reconciling me. Reka Maganda. With the things here on earth. With the things in the heaven. Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda. Kazi ya mikono yangu. Itakuwa na matunda. Reka maganda mashanda kwa sababu damu reka maganda mashanda reka maganda mashanda kama dini zingine zinatumia damu wanatumia damu hata kupokea utajiri na mali reka maganda bona sisi hatujajua hizi sheria za kiroho na kujua siri iliyoko katika damu damu tu sio dhambi na samehe sio tu dhambi na safisha da, damu inakupatanisha Damu imekupatanisha na ulithi wako Damu imekupatanisha na baraka zako Hapa duniani Kila baraka ilio na jina lako Razima ikuje sasa Razima ikutafute sasa Kwa sababu ya kupatanishwa Reka maganda mashanda Maraika watakuja wakudumie Kwa sababu ya kupatanishwa Reka maganda mashanda Reka maganda mashanda Reka maganda mashanda Reka maganda mashanda Maraika walikuwa katika shamba la Edeni lakini Adamu akafukuzwa pale reka maganda mashanda reka maganda mashanda reka maganda lakini Adamu wa pili alipokuja tumepatanishwa sasa tena reka maganda na vitu vilivyoko binguni reka maganda mashanda reka maganda diposa tunajazwa na roho roho hatoki kwa supermarket roho anatoka binguni Reka maganda Yesu ako katika hiyo ofisi Diposa tunatiriwa mafuta Reka maganda Because of that reconciliation Tunapokea upako Warom takatifu Tunapokea neema Reka maganda mashanda Tunaoja karama Za ulimwengu nao kuja Reka maganda mazeria Reka maganda mashanda Reka maganda mashanda Reka maganda mazia that is why the Bible says uh, in Hebrews uh, chapter 10 uh, and verse 29, uh, Reka Maganda Mashanda, Reka Maganda, Reka Maganda Mashanda, Reka Maganda. Let's begin verse 28. Uh, Reka Maganda. Anyone who rejected uh, the law of Moses died without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. Uh, 
Rekama, how much more severely do you think a man deserves to be punished uh, who has trampled uh, the Son of God underfoot, uh, who has treated uh, as an unholy thing uh, the blood of the covenant uh, that sanctified him uh, and who has insulted uh, the spirit uh, of grace? Simuambie Buana, Rekama Ganda, Nisaidia Kuirinda Hidamu, Rekama Ganda Mashanda. Irio nisafisha nisaidie kuidhamini hii damu iliyo nisafisha kwa sababu dio imefanya nipokee neema neema ya binguni imeshuka juu yangu kwa sababu ya hii damu nimepokea neema ninafanya mambo makubwa reka maganda mashanda kupitia hii damu reka maganda mashanda baganda reka maganda mashanda declare today Declare today, declare with your own words uh, that I receive uh, reconciliation uh, through the blood of Jesus. Uh, I am reconciled back to God. Uh, I am reconciled back to the things here on earth. Uh, I am reconciled back to the things in the heavens. Uh, declare those three levels of reconciliation uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, through the blood of Jesus. Uh, through the blood of Jesus. Reka Maganda. Umepatanishwa na mungu. Unakuwa na ushirika na Mungu. Umepatanishwa na vitu vya hapa duniani. Unakuwa na maisha na maisha teretere. Umepatanishwa na vitu vya binguni. Unapokea mambo yanayotoka binguni direct yanaachiliwa juu ya maisha yako. Unapokea Roho Mtakatifu, unapokea neema ya Mungu, unapokea upako, unapokea kibari. Kila maganda Reka maganda mashanda because of this reconciliation reka maganda this is a friday like no other this is a friday like no other it is a friday that we remember the our lord jesus christ uh, was crucified uh, on the cross in calvary he died uh, he shed his blood uh, reka maganda reka maganda mashanda we nullify every other blood uh, Ah, sema kila damu zingine zote hazina uwezo wa kuninenea waganga na wachawi wanapofanya makafara yao haina uwezo kuna damu na niko na imani nayo na niko na ufunuo na hii damu hii damu ina shida ina shida damu zingine zote hata za waabuduo shetani wajaribu kutoa watoto makafara reka maganda wajaribu kutoa human sacrifice ninajua mmoja ambaye alitoa damu yake ambayo haina hatia ninajua mmoja reka maganda mashanda aliyenipenda aliyenipenda Mungu wangu alitoa uhai wake mwenyewe reka maganda in him there was life and this life was the right of men ndio mimi niweze kuendelea kimaisha ndio mimi niweze kuwa mshindi katika maisha reka maganda mashanda reka maganda reka maganda tazama msaraba siku ya leo na utapona tazama msaraba wakati wana wa Israeli waliumwa na nyoka Mungu akawaambia ah tengeneza nyoka wa shaba ukaweze kumuinua juu yeyote atakaye mtazama atapona ninakutangazia juma ijumaa hii ya leo tazama juu tazama msarabani tazama moja aliyesurubishwa kwa ajili yako na ukapone kuna nyoka nyingi ambazo zinauma watu reka maganda nyoka za kila aina nyoka za kila aina ya shida tazama msaraba tazama msaraba na utapona tazama tazama reka maganda mashanda reka maganda mashanda reka maganda mashanda ba reka maganda mashanda reka maganda mashanda reka maganda mashanda tazama msaraba tazama msaraba tazama msaraba reka maganda tazama hiyo damu tazama hicho kijito hicho kijito bado kiko na nguvu reka maganda kilitolewa mara moja na mara moja ya kutosha tangaza hicho kijito cha damu kina niponya kina nisafisha reka maganda mashanda kina nipatanisha 
Nimepatanishwa na Mungu. Nimepatanishwa na ulithi wangu na baraka zangu. Nimepatanishwa na bingu. Nitapokea mambo ya binguni. Hesha kama ganda. Reka maganda mashanda. Reka maganda. Nitapokea Roho Mtakatifu. Nitapokea neema ya Mungu. Nitapokea upako wa Roho Mtakatifu. Nitapokea kibari cha Mungu. Tangaza. Tangaza. Oh my God. Tangaza. Ninapoleta worship team. Tazama msalaba siku ya leo. Watu wanaposherehekea wengi hawana ufunuo. Ni nini wanachosherehekea? Lakini nimekuja kwako sherehekea na ufunuo. Ufunuo wa damu. Jioni mini kesha usiku wa leo tutaona ukombozi unaotokana na damu. Tutaenda kuitia hiyo damu. Tutaenda kuvunja maagano mengine yote. Usiku wa leo ni usiku wa ukombozi. Reka maganda mashanda. Reka maganda. Tutasherehekea na ufunuo. Reka maganda mashanda. Hakuna 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 jambo lilo na nguvu katika maisha ya mwanadamu kama ufunuo. Kama ufunuo. Reka maganda mashanda. Kuna watu walimzunguka Yesu wakaona ni kawaida kumguza guza lakini kuna mwanamke aliyekuja na shida ya damu miaka mbili akaguza pinde la vazi lake akapona Yesu akasema kuna mtu amenguza Yesu akaambiwa na Petero angalia watu wote wanakuguza hapa Yesu akasema kuna moja amenguza na ufunuo kuna moja amenguza na ufunuo guza damu ya Yesu na ufunuo guza hiyo damu Uza hicho kijito na ufunuo hila baganda ma hila baganda ma dio 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 Uza hicho kijito cha damu na ufunuo Uza hicho kijito cha damu na ufunuo na ufunuo wa kuelewa nguvu leka maganda za kupatanishwa hata na vitu vilivyoko hapa duniani reka maganda mashanda kataa kubadilishiwa ulivi wako kata tangaza hata kama kuna makafara mengine yameshawahi kutolewa ninatubu na kuyakataa ninatangaza damu hii reka maganda mashanda damu hii inanikomboa na nguvu zingine zote na maagano mengine yote reka maganda na kataa e hey, maisha yangu sitabadilishiwa i cancel every demonic exchanger reka maganda wengi hawaishi maisha yao Wengi hawaishi maisha Mungu aliyokusudia. Wengi wamenyang'anywa maisha ambayo Mungu alikuwa amekusudia wakaishi. Tangaza na kataa kubadilishiwa. Reka maganda, reka maganda waliotumia damu za kondoo na ng'ombe. Reka maganda wachukue hatima yangu. Siku ya leo nimekataa. Nimekataa, nimekataa. Nimekataa kubadilishiwa nimekataa kubadilishwa hata ulithi wangu hata mali yangu kuna watu inua madhabahu wanachukua utajiri wanachukua mali hata ya watu ambao wameokoka kataa kataa ulithi wako hautachukuliwa wale wametoa makafara hata kama wametumia damu ya wanadamu kataa ulithi wako hautachukuliwa hata wageni waliokuja katika nchi hii kama hao tunaongea juu yao wanakuja kujenga barabara sasa tunawaona kila mahali tunakataa hawatachukua ulithi wetu in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus hawatachukua biashara za watu wetu tunakataa 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 tunavunja maagano yote yale tunajua yale hatujui hata yale yamefanywa kwa niaba yetu kama taifa tunavunja maagano reka maganda mashanda magano yote reka maganda ma reka maganda mashanda reka maganda ya kuchukua ulithi wetu reka maganda mashanda ya kufanya tuishi kama watumwa biblia inasema the borrower is a servant to the lender reka maganda tunakataa kuwa watumwa reka maganda mashanda reka maganda mashanda reka maganda mashanda reka maganda mashanda Reka maganda tunatakazisha barabara zetu barabara zetu hazitakuwa za mauaji hata katika Easter hii tunakataa ajali 
tunakataa vifo visivyo vya kawaida reka maganda mashada wakati mwingine mapepo yanakuwa na njaa ya damu yanakuwa na kiu cha damu ha every blood that's the demon we shut your mouth you are not going to drink the blood of our people in the name of Jesus every blood that's the demon we shut your mouth in this nation hata tunapoelekea uchaguzi madhabahu yote yanayoinuliwa ili mapepo yawe na kiu cha damu ili yaanze kuitisha damu tunayanyamazisha na hii damu kila makafara na madhabahu yanayoinuliwa yadai ya damu yadai damu ya watu wetu damu ya watu wetu reka maganda tunakataa nayo tunakata pesha kabara pesha kabaganda pesha kabaganda pesha kabaganda ma pesha kabaganda pesha kabaganda hakuna damu itakayomwagika we are not going to appease the devil we are not going to appease any altar we are not going to appease any covenant in the mighty name of Jesus through the blood of our people in the mighty name of Jesus we cancel every demonic exchange in the mighty name of Jesus kila baganda bashanda si uendele kuomba na hii damu hii damu hii damu iko na nguvu omba na ufunuo wa damu kila maganda usiku wa leo oh my god tudanena nguvu za damu juu ya maisha yetu jamii zetu taifa letu na tutaona ukombozi mkubwa as we walk in the liberation of the blood rika maganda bashanda have your way my god have your way my king there is healing in the blood there is deliverance in the blood there is restoration in the blood in the mighty name of jesus freedom in the blood 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 Yes I receive my freedom Yes I release your freedom Yes in the blood in the blood Shaka baganda babose